Hi guys, and today in this short Blender tip, we're gonna be looking at how to make an object look like it bounces as it hits the ground. So I'm gonna delete that and we'll start off with a plane object, which will scale up so that it, this is gonna be our ground that the object is gonna bounce on. And then we will create our sphere. In our tools, we'll set the smoothing, um, the shading to smooth. And then we're gonna drag our object up out of the way. Now once we've got it up there, we're gonna keyframe this ball coming in to land on the ground. So we'll go to our front view and we'll turn on our keyframes. And we're gonna drag this up a little bit to our starting position, which will be there. Now we'll go forward, say to frame number 15. And in frame number 15, we want our ball to be down here on the ground. So if we play that animation, you'll see we have our ball dropping in. Doesn't look very realistic though. It just comes in and sits on the ground. Um, let's make it look like it bounces. So we're gonna do that using the graph editor. So we'll drag out a new view here and we'll change to the graph editor now here in our graph editor, you can see our animation in a graphical way. So you can alter the, the start and ending points of different um, movements on various axes. So if I was to grab this here, you can see that this um, point actually simulates our, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> this point, um, is like a, a graphical representation of um, our animation. If we move this around, it'll change the start point. So you can see on the left here, if we drag this over to say frame number 60 um, or beyond, then the animation is going to play more slowly. Um, so let's play this again. So see now it drops in a lot more slowly. You can then grab this also and you can move that back. And you can see that down here in our um, keyframe editor, it's actually moving the little yellow stick that signifies our keyframe. So you can see down here, this keyframe is actually moving with our manipulations. So that's the basics of the graph editor. Now what we want to do is make our ball appear like it's bouncing. So the way we're gonna do that, first of all, we're going to grab this, we'll hit V and go to vector, that will make, uh, remove any easing in and easing out. And we'll do the same down here. So now the ball will not speed up and slow down, it will just drop straight in. Um, now we've done that, we're going to select both of those points, hit N, and we will go to Bounce. And now, if we play this, you should find our ball bounces. Pretty cool. So that is how we can create a realistic looking bounce animation here in Blender using the graphical editor. So we can just play that over and over again, you'll see there's our ball dropping in and bouncing to a standstill. So that's a quick introduction to the graph editor and how to make a ball bounce. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all my latest Blender tutorials, tips and tricks. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.